What's up guys? Classy Metal here. Um, little disclaimer on this video. I'll say up front that pretty much everything that I'm going to show in this update is all black metal. So if you're not uh, into black metal, I'm going to save us both. Well, save you some time and uh, me a dislike and uh, just let you know that uh, that's pretty much all that I'm going to show you guys in this video. Um, I have uh, stuff that I've been meaning to make videos for for some of the stuff I've actually had for uh, well over a month, probably two months, and I'm trying to play catch up now and uh, show some of this stuff because I'm sure some of you would be interested to see what all I've gotten in. Uh, it's from three separate places, as I said. Uh, the first place is Ominous Domain. Uh, I, this is a, a distributor, I guess a distro, that uh, I've pretty much fallen in love with. Uh, it's been a fairly new thing that uh, I've pretty much fallen in love with this place. But every time I... They have all kinds of stuff that, I, that I'm hunting for. Stuff that I've been hunting for. They have some uh, some amazing new stuff that uh, it is great on price. Especially uh, stuff coming from other countries that are uh, sending it here to the U.S. I can find it on uh, Ominous Domain. Fairly cheap. Uh, definitely much cheaper than on Bandcamp or from the uh, overseas labels. So I'm definitely glad that, to have found this uh, this uh, this distro. I will I will leave a link to the uh, to the to the stores. The this is an eBay store that I found for Ominous Domain. Um, if I go through and try to leave links to each of these artists and each of these albums, it will take forever because as you will see going into this, I have quite a bit to show and I just don't have time to show those links. If there's anything that I show that you would like to know more about. Uh, feel free to ask in the comments. I will be more than happy to uh, find you a way to, to listen to these artists or to find these albums as well, if you're so inclined. So I'm going to quit babbling, and I'm just going to get on to it. Uh, the first one, as I said, these are all from Ominous Domain. I think there's uh, maybe six in this. Uh, this first band is a band out of Mexico. Uh, this is some pretty just uh, dark, hateful straightforward black metal. Uh, the name of this band is Entirety and uh, the name of this release is Eternal Fire. If I end up showing something that uh, I've shown in a previous update, I apologize. As I've said, I'm trying to play uh, catch up on these and some of these may have gotten mixed in, but uh, I've tried to keep out as much as I possibly could that I've already shown. Um, as I said, this is black metal out of Mexico. Uh, it's on Ray Soul Productions. Definitely check this out. This came out in 2017, and I think it flew under a lot of people's radars. And I definitely uh, think it's a worthwhile release for your worthwhile of your time to check out. Uh, next up is some atmospheric black metal. This is a violet cold with a uh, anime. I believe is how you pronounce that. Just the uh, little digi pack. I possibly this is one that I could have possibly shown before, but I don't remember because I've had this one for a little while now. Fantastic release. I believe the uh, the actual music came out in 2016. Uh, I'm thinking the physical release didn't make it out until this year, but uh, this is also on Ray's Soul. Definitely uh, carry quite a bit of their material on Ominous Domain. Uh, next up is a band that uh, just put out a ringer in 2017. Uh, it's a album that uh, definitely is album of the year. Uh, contender and the band is Nocturnal Mortal that I'm talking about. I'm not showing their newest release in this video, but I am showing one that I went back. I'm trying to backtrack and pick up some of their previous material that I didn't already own just because their uh, their album that came out this year was just that good. Uh, the name of this one is The Voice of Steel. Rough translation. That's what it says on here. Is the Voice of Ste The Voice of Steel. It's the uh, double disc. One thing about uh, a lot of the recent Nocturnal Mortal. Uh, releases they're just uh, flawless as far as the packaging goes their newest release as well I mean it just blows my mind the uh, the attention to detail that they put into these releases fantastic band uh, they don't have a bad album in my opinion this is a uh, this one ranks pretty high up there as far as my favorite releases from that band as well uh, next up we have a uh, Bjorn's Hall uh, with uh, mountain hymns slipped my mind for a moment Kind of uh, has uh, atmospheric black elements to this, uh, pagan black elements to it as well. Uh, this is on uh, Nature Mock Productions, Nutter Mock Productions. Uh, that's another label that I found quite a bit of uh, material from that I really enjoy. And last but not least, I know I showed this album in the 2017 uh, album of some best albums so far this year. 
Uh, this is another one that's uh, high up there on my list. Definitely album of the year contender. This is a Grima with uh, Tales of the Enchanted Woods. Fantastic pagan black metal, atmospheric black metal. Uh, if you don't check out anything else on this on this update, check this one out. I, I guarantee you'll love it. This one is also on Nottermock or Nature Mock Productions. Uh, the next group of albums that I'm going to show you, let me see if I can get them down. All came from uh, Metallic Media, and uh, I got these insanely cheap. I'm going to show you. Let me count them. I think uh, seven, seven albums, and um, eight albums, and they were right around the twenty dollar range, possibly a little bit under, and that's including shipping. So I definitely uh, I, I got a steal on some of this stuff. Uh, the first one, calling it black metal, is a bit of a stretch. So. Uh, Black metal in the vein, if you believe that uh, Venom was black metal. This is a, a fairly new band, but they have a definite throwback, speed metal, uh, black metal vibe to them. And uh, this stuff sounds like it, it, it came straight out of the late 80s. It's that lo-fi. Absolutely love this. This is uh, their 20. This was uh, reissued this year. I'm pretty positive. Uh, I believe the initial release was just a cassette release. It came out in 2015. Uh, this is a band out, I believe, out of Finland. Could be wrong on that. Uh, the name of the band is Black Rock, and uh, the name of the album is The Mighty Sacrifice. As I said, this is uh, the 2017 reissue on uh, Metal Throne Productions. Slipped my mind for a moment on that. And uh, as I said, it, it's a complete uh, throwback album. This band, like I said, they sound like uh, they came late, late 80s, early 90s sound. Just uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, next up, we have Exile with Hate Night. I got a little bit of a glare that I'm fighting with. Uh, this uh, 2013 release. This came out on uh, Op. I can't even pronounce it. Op Puke Records, uh, the division, U.S. division. So I don't know just a whole lot about that label. I apologize for that, but I know this is a uh, it's pretty good black metal here. Uh, next up is one that I, I've been listening to quite a bit this past week. Uh, this came out. This one's been out a while. Uh, 2006. Uh, it has the MySpace link to the band on the back, just to give you an um, idea of how long this one's been out. This is a uh, Chaotic Symmetry, and uh, it's in uh, looks to be Russian, the name of the album. But uh, you could tell right from the front of that what you're getting into with this album. Just frosty, cold, hateful black metal, just the way it's supposed to be. Uh, next up, we have one that I know I'm going to butcher the name of, so I apologize. The name of the uh, release is Under the Black Frost, and the name of the project or band is uh, More. Yeah, I'm going to More Mordry Mordrian. Yeah, this is <laughs> sorry. This is also a reissue. Um, I'm not even sure when this one was released it was, it's on uh, metal throne productions as well uh this was another one that was just released on cassette initially and uh they did the reissue on cd which made me very happy but uh don't let my disservice to the uh band name steer you away from this one definitely check this out if you can find it another just frosty cold has a little bit of atmospheric element to that as well. Uh, next up is one that uh, was a complete blind buy, and uh, I haven't I haven't even listened to it yet. It's numbered out of a thousand. It's number eight twenty two, hand numbered out of a thousand. Uh, this is a perverse monastery monastery with uh, ten years of perversion, and uh, looks like they pretty uh, spread the hate around to everybody there, as you can see. Uh, haven't checked this one out yet. As I said previously, uh, looking for a little spare time to do so, but uh, pretty sure what I'm going to get out of it just from the looks of it. So, uh, next up we have a split. This is a uh, Ordo Caper and Abysets, I believe is how you pronounce that. Again, I'm sorry with uh, an Annihilation Fist. This is a uh, black and death metal. I guess this uh, has almost a war metal vibe. 
This one is also hand numbered uh, 187. I'm not sure how many uh, this was released out of, but I don't. I know that this one is numbered 187. Uh, each each band or project on this uh, contributed two tracks to that uh, split, as you can see. Just a uh, war metal, black and death. Nothing uh, groundbreaking or revolutionary on there. Uh, next up is another uh, atmospheric black metal. This one is a more dark uh, black metal uh, atmospheric. It, it leans to the darker sides of uh, atmospheric black metal, which is good because you get some of this stuff that uh, is just so... Uh, that I, I'll show some stuff in, in a bit from my Red Stream order. That it, it's complete reverse. Uh, it's almost, uh, almost like a beautiful black metal sound as opposed to the darker, more raw, atmospheric black. And this is an Ice Alert with their EP, Isolated Soul. I've given this so many spins since it's come in, it's absolutely ridiculous. This is, this is also on Metal Throne. I uh, got a, quite a bit of stuff in this from Metal Throne and from uh, uh, Raised Soul Productions. The next one I haven't even opened yet. This is an Unblack. Uh, this one was, I, bought, I got this for next to nothing. This is a... L El Gibor, I believe is how you pronounce that, with War. I believe they're from Poland. Unblack metal band. Haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet. Got this for like a dollar and some change. So, yeah. Uh, that's all from the Metallic Media. And the next, I just dropped my water bottle. And uh, the next group of stuff is from, uh, all came from Redstream. So, uh, the, this first one isn't so much black. It has uh, some progressive elements to I guess extreme progressive elements even uh, some doom uh, elements to this as well this is a uh, door into emptiness with radio ja kind of very weird sounding stuff I like it but uh, it's it's something I have to be in the mood for it's it's definitely a different kind of listen <clears throat> Uh, next up, we have uh, this is a uh, I guess black, uh, black and death metal sound of it. It has, definitely has a few death metal vibes to this. Uh, this is on Moribund Records. Uh, the name of the the name of the band is a uh, Necroconoclast, I believe is how you pronounce it. With uh, the plague, the artwork drew me to this, and it caused me to to check it out. And I enjoyed this enough to go on and snatch it up, especially for the price. The Red Stream had a sale going, and uh. It was definitely worth the few bucks that I had to throw towards getting it. Uh, next up, we have uh, another. This one's, uh, I guess, Black and Death Metal. This is Aeonless. And uh, it's self titled, just Aeonless. This is another uh, album that the artwork drew me to. Has that almost war metal, war black metal vibe going on. This uh, came out last year on uh, Symbol of Domination and acclaim records it has both uh, labels on the back so and i just dropped more so i'm dropping stuff everywhere i'll show you the inside turn the disc around for you that uh picture is kind of funny it's a band picture over here that's pretty funny to me for some reason i don't think it was meant as serious as they look it wasn't meant to be funny but it is funny so i dropped the last three let me get these up i apologize and we will wrap this update up. Okay, get my big head out of your way. Uh, next up, we have some more atmospheric black. This is another one that uh, leans toward the darker side. This is kind of ambient atmospheric black. This is a ch chiral, chiral with a abyssal. This one has been out a little while. I believe it came out uh, 2015. As you can see, it has metallic media. A uh, symbol of domination and Black Plague Records, so it's I guess it's a triple label release. Uh, good stuff. Definitely uh, my favorite material that this project has put out. And the last two are both from the same band, uh, some atmospheric black metal out of Russia. The first one is the reissue of their first release, Aftermath. This is Sky Forest. I I believe I. I prefer the original release to the reissue to the remaster but unfortunately the label that did the uh, the original pretty much screwed everyone over and never sent the uh, the albums out they took everyone's money and there were no no copies of uh aftermath that came out so when they 
did the reissue, the remaster. I, I snagged up a copy because I loved that album so much. And I uh, also grabbed their newest release, Unity. I may have shown this already in a previous update, and I apologize if I have, but that's why I saved this red stream for last because these have been on the shelf for, for a little bit now. So there we go. But that's all I've got for this update. I will leave the links to uh, each of these distros in the description. As always, thank you for watching. Stay classy, stay metal. I have another update I need to do that's going to be all Bandcamp purchases, and uh, hopefully I'll get that done within the next few days or so. But uh, that's all I've got today, so I will see you guys soon, I promise.